So here we're standing here at a Goma University, which was formerly known as Shinawak Residential Indian School, where lots of Métis, Inuit, and Native Americans were brought. First by their will and their parents' wills and brought here to learn English and our religion and to be brought into our society. Unfortunately, no one really knows the horrors that happened behind these doors. On September 22nd of, 19, of 1873, Shinawak School opened to 16 boys in Garden River, Ontario. Six days later, unfortunately, a fire did destroy the school in Garden River. Luckily, everyone escaped. After the fire, they, per they got a grant from the government to purchase a, a land which is now known as Goma University, the final home of Shinawak School for the next hundred years. In August 19th of 1878, Shinawak School opened the doors to female students. Unfortunately, they didn't have the equipment here for the here at this school for girls, so they built a school five kilometers away from a, from Shinawak School called Wawa Nurse School for Girls. However, but in the in 1900, girls and boys were combined here at this at Shinawak School to study together, where they would learn about our religion, our language, and how to combined into our society. Students in this school spend half the day in their classes where they learned about our religion and of course our society and how our language works. And, for, and after the other half they worked as manual laborers. This school had a, one, had a huge functional farm on this land where students pretty much worked all day, all afternoon and night, and even in the hot and cold, day, the old days. There has been some articles, a few that we have read, where it is stated that the students have been abused, neglected, sexually abused, which is pretty much known to any residential school that has happened in Canada. In 1970, the government took over the school and finally closed down the school permanently, but the scars still hidden in the school are still there. A Goma University, mainly Shinawak Kral, has been reported to have strange behaviors. Some would call it paranormal. Shinawak Kral was established in 1873 as a residential school for Native children. Not many know that there is an old cemetery which is close to Algoma University, which has mainly children buried. Who is it? Robert and Anne McNeil. Nineteen hundreds. Nineteen oh three to nineteen twelve, nineteen oh six, nineteen eighteen. These child's children. That was more. This is probably the children's grave. Benjamin P, 1865 to 1945. And there's a bunch of 19, well, 1894 to 1912 and 1867-1890. Yeah. They're kind of monuments because they don't know where they're buried.
Hi. What? Not many people buried here that we know. There's actually lots buried here. <laughs> 